Hi, my name is Kevin Bailey. I'm the Aquatic Coordinator of Operations and Events for MIT Rec Sports. I want to first thank everyone who is interested in taking American Red Cross classes for MIT. What we're going to show you today is two different pre-test uh, requirements if you're taking a lifeguard training or a water safety instructor courses. It's really important for the instructor and for the other participants that people who are coming into the class have some basic swimming ability in order to make sure that the class is safe and that we can continue with the curriculum. For all of our classes, what we first ask if you're taking a lifeguard or WSI class, that you come and sign up for a pretest. The pretest is simply the swim requirements and just showing what to be expected in our course. We're going to look for a type of rhythmic breathing. That could be either picking your head up and putting your face back in, or what we prefer is a lifeguard to be able to breathe to the side. Again, it has to be a rhythm. We have to show that you're comfortable having your face in the water and have some type of breath control. You're also allowed to swim breaststroke. Same thing, a rhythmic breathing. You can see with Kenny right now, his head's coming up, taking a quick breath, and putting his face back down. We're looking to show that he's comfortable. He's not picking his head up. He's not wiping his face, he's not gasping for air, but he has control of his breath. You can also see during the entire time, Kenny's not hanging on to the wall or stopping at any point. It's a continuous swim. After the 300 yard swim, we're gonna ask all lifeguards to hop in the water and tread water for two minutes. During that two minutes of treading water, your arms will be placed underneath your armpits, so it'll be legs only. Again, the objective to this is to make sure that you're using your leg to sustain yourself. This is extremely important so that during the lifeguarding class, when we perform rescues, we know that the lifeguards have the ability to tread water and sustain themselves in the water. The last part of the test is going to be a brick test. Students are gonna first start in the water and swim down as fast as they can 20 yards of 20 yards of the pool. Down at the bottom of the pool, Kenny is gonna be retrieving a diving brick that's about 10 pounds. He'll go down under the water, grab the diving brick, and return back to the surface. On the way back, he is going to go back to his starting point with two hands on the diving brick and have it either just slightly above the water or halfway in. At all times, the brick has to be either near the surface or at just above the surface. It can never be underneath the water, and you have to hold it with two hands. You can also notice that during this skill, lifeguards are not going to be allowed to wear goggles during this test. As soon as he hops out of the water, he is going to have to bring himself onto the pool deck without using the ladder or stairs. The next pretest I'd like to show you is our water safety instructor. During the first day of class, during our pretest, students will hop in the water and demonstrate a series of stroke performance that you would typically teach during a swim lesson. All of the strokes that you are going to perform has to be at the American Red Cross level four stroke criteria. The first one we're gonna do is 25 yards of front crawl. 